let me tell you about the story of me. Just being me. Just you know, I did something else entirely different, and it just all it, it it didn't record. I guess it wasn't meant to be. You'll find life is like that a lot right now. I'm trying to find the light for you, but I think it's enough that you can see, you can hear. I'm looking at this. This I, this reminds me. I look like a little nymph, a little elf, a little fairy. It looks like little fairy ears or something. I my mind does this all the time. I'm a, you know, if you want to do this astrological thing, I'm a Pisces with Gemini rising and a Libra moon. And I got a lot of shit in between, you know, like Venus and Aries, I mean, you know, Sag and six, seven, and eight. Neptune. My wonderful Neptune and Scorpio. And, the, uh, and all, everybody, all the houses are, all the houses, the, the third, the fourth, you know, the, 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 the 11th, the 10th, the 11th, the 9th, the 8th. 12. They're all in there. They're all in there. Some of you get so into your houses, you get so into it that you forget to live. You 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 live in your thoughts of what's in the houses and that's not you because, you know, you're still looking at it through data instead of living it. That's the whole thing. You've got to live it. A lot of people talk that shit, but they don't live that shit. So uh, anyway, so this is me. This is my new me. My noir. It just occurred to me to do. I don't know. I like black and white. Uh, I've been a. I've been a photographer. Nowhere near the claim of my. I have friends who are photographers. I mean, like you know, real photographers. You know, I mean, there are a lot of people who I act like they're photographers, but. Like, Nigga, you ain't no more of a photographer than me. I'm, in fact, I'm better than you because I actually worked at photography shops. But uh, experience matters. Somehow people seem to forget. They forgot that actual experience does matter. You can have the knowledge. or But do you, though? If you don't have the actual experience, you kind of have pseudo-knowledge. You have the knowledge that you've got in books. And you've got the knowledge that you've got in your head. But do you have the actual lived, like I lived that knowledge. I lived that knowledge as a whole entirely different thing. There's a lot of people who talk about shit they never lived. Mm. Mm. Grinds my gores just a bit. Makes me want to fight. I came out fighting. I did. I came out fighting. I came out fighting. Soldiers kid. Both of my parents were soldiers. That meant they went for the shit that they wanted. Ha! Hoo ah, I gotta wait. It's another story. It's another story. It's too much to talk about in the story. Please. Whatever you think I am, I was raised by twice as much. Or more. I mean, you know, I, I mean, or maybe I'm twice more than that. Either way, it's amazing, right? It's amazing. It's amazing. If you know my parents, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. The love child that was never going to be. So this world said, doctors tried to tell my mom, you can't have any children. I would have had a sister older than me, 10 years, I think. She would have named her something with a V2, I think Victoria. <sighs> Mommy had this thing about naming us V's. Just being me. So, uh, okay, mommy was a Sag. That's where I get my Saturn energy from. That side of the family from my mom. My Saturn and Sag. And, and Saturn and Sag. And what, sixth, seventh, and eighth house. Mommy made sure I remembered her. <laughs> Bitch, you better never forget me. No, my mother wouldn't say anything like that. Not to me. <laughs> She's saying about somebody else. <clears throat> Mommy was classy. Some of y'all ain't got no class. It is apparent. Some of you all do not have any class. I don't care what you say. You can get mad. You can think I'm hating. You can think I, I, you know, I am the nicest person in the room until I'm not. Those who know, know. I am the nicest person in the room until I'm not. And when I'm not, it's because some bum motherfucker just, you know, pissed me off and made me go. Really? <laughs> you know that Akasha, mo you know like in, a, in Akasha, uh, uh, whatever that was, the uh, the brain of the dam or the queen of the dam or whatever that was with Aaliyah. Uh, I don't know why. It's something about that story that I resonate to very, 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 very well. You know, but, you know, except the end part was grimy, but, you know, the characters were, you know, they can't make her. They could, they could not have possibly made her as she really was, right? Like, I would love to see a story of who the real Akasha was. 
I'm just saying. What is the story of the real Akasha? I don't know, but it wasn't that, you know. Leah wouldn't have died the way. I mean, that the you know, that Hollywood always does that. Guys, you don't see it yet. Hollywood always does that shit. So they always come out nice and shiny and, and wonderful, like they did the right thing by killing people. I suggest everybody go and see the movie The Hunt. Coming out uh, under my birthday season too, March 17th, The Hunt. I suggest everybody go and see that movie, The Hunt. There is a classic. I mean, I like, I rolled when I heard that line because it was so true. It was so true. It was so true. You know, you had to, The Hunt, white people, white people all up in this movie. White I, I don't know if there are any black people in it, they're probably in The Hunt. Uh, uh, the, 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 the actual thing, not the movie. But, um, and you think it, you know, everybody wants to go conspiracy theory or what? Let me tell you something, and I'm gonna let it go. I'm really not a conspiracy theorist. People think I am, but I'm not. I am a. I'm. I'm. I'm factual with that shit. Let, let me tell you. I might be Pisces. You think I'm foo foo la la, and I very well may be. But I have Aquarian in my my my, my midhouse is Aquarian. I'm logical as a motherfucker. Okay, I'm like. I'm going to need to see that. I'm going to need to see some receipts on that. Uh, you know, I'm that type of person. Like, you know, I just don't blindly follow nobody. What the fuck? Who the fuck you think I am? What? Oh, I told y'all you don't know about me. You don't know about me. You know, even daddy, had, daddy really did not have a hard time with me. Did you? I don't know, because I've been rebellious all my life. I've been rebellious all my life. I've come out fighting. Like I said, my mom, they told my mama that she wasn't going to have me, and she had me. You know, it was a joint project. And But even with that, you know, it was difficulty. I couldn't just come out normally. I had to come out C-section. There was complications right from the very beginning. Fighting, fighting, fighting. My dukes are always up. Fighting, fighting. I've been up. My dukes are always up, yo. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that because there's a good reason for my dudes to be up because, you know, I literally was that sweet little guppy thrown in the sea of sharks. You know, uh, uh, like all of a sudden stuff happens. Deaths happened to me. My dad, you know, just didn't. I mean, I, well, we knew he was, but still, that was sudden for me. All, all deaths of people I love are sudden for me. And then I was said it's a whole new world. And I, for me and the type of life that I've lived, you better know how to, like, you know, have your dukes up because they'll come for you. They will eat you up. The sea will eat you the fuck up. You don't know what's in the sea. <laughs> you don't know what's in the sea. The mermaid does. You don't know what's in the sea. You want to jump off into the sea and your ass can't swim. What the fuck? And you think you know. Because all your homies around you tell you that you know. Your homies ain't been in the sea either. They've just been in the ditch. They have barely been in a fucking pond. Please spare me with that shit. Okay. Oh, we just, we, we worldwide. We also, we are, are you though? Are you? Okay. Well, then do it. Do it. Show me. I'm going to show me. Say, show me. I'm not saying you can't do it, but don't tell me that you can't. I, I'm on a different level of do it than you are. Let's get that straight. My life is not like everybody's. Nor do I want it to be. Because if it was, I wouldn't be here. And that I know for a fact. You're not ready for the sea, what you think you are. And then you want to think I'm hating when I'm trying to tell you what you need. But no. And then you hate even more when I don't show you with your disrespectful ass what you need. And then you hate even more when I just say fuck it. And then I'm a hater. Because I'm trying to save myself. You're trying to kill me and crucify me. You won't listen. You won't learn. You don't even want to do the shit. You want me to do it for you. You want a slave. You want me to be your slave. You talk about slavery, but you yourself are an enslaver of your own mind, of your own good, of your own help. I've <laughs> I felt I felt myself go deep. We're the science to do that shit. We, 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 we like we are we are <clears throat> we are um You gotta be water to know what I'm talking about. Ah uh, ah uh, 
fire kind of knows that too. Water is more fluid. Fire is, uh, you know, but we're, we're there, there are heights, there are heights and lows to us that, uh, that, you know, you, you can't imagine. You can't. So when we show it to you, you think you're crazy and we're just expressing what's really going on in our world. So then we have to do some like really artistic way or you like, you'll put us in an insane asylum or something like that. When we're telling you the truth, the God honest truth. And this thing about God, everybody's so obsessed with God. You know, I'm going to take your God and I'm, no, I'm not going to take your God. I'm going to do my God. God is whatever it is. It works for me. Source. The universe. See, I accept all of that. You guys can only accept one thing or one word or some name, and that name ain't got nothing to do with shit. What? Miss me with that dumb shit. That's where all your errors come in. You start going by a name, and then this name starts giving their own particular set of rules, and then these rules are the rules you follow, and then you think everybody's supposed to follow those rules, but they are not even the rules. What? And so you judge me. What is she? What is she looking at? Mary's always been a whore to you, right? Regardless of what her role is, whichever Mary. Whichever Mary, whichever Eve, whichever Lilith, whichever Sheba, whichever all the queens, queens. You say queen, 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 queen. But in your mind, the queen is a whore. You can't even look at the queen until she, like, you know, comes across a certain way. Nope. Got it wrong. Got it wrong. Before some of you get there. Got it wrong. Is this why you're doing this? No. He can't make me do shit. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't make me do shit. That's always been a problem. <laughs> or not a problem. Or the balance. It's always up to me. But do I see it? Like, hmm. I think I need to do it like this. Or it's like, nigga, I ain't doing that. I always have the choice. But it's about making that right choice. It's about making that logical choice. It's about making that choice that makes sense. Yeah, the Pisces said that. It's about making that choice that makes sense, especially now. If you can't, all you astrologers and, 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 and readers and people who follow astrology and astronomy and scientists and chemists and all this whatever, and preachers and, 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 and gurus and shamans, all you motherfuckers can Okay, honey, I'm sorry. He hates it when I curse. But I'm a military brat. We do. Soldiers have seen things. If you got a problem with soldiers cursing, then you know what? You you you, you should never call on us. Because you called on us. Because you're weak. Because you can't because you can't fight your own battles. So you need soldiers to fight your own battles. Fight your battles. When we're fighting our own battles at the same goddamn time. And now we're fighting more battles because we're fighting our battles and we're fighting your battles and we're fighting their battles and we're fighting these battles and we're fighting those battles and you wonder why we're motherfucking crazy. Nigga, how crazy would you be? Y'all don't understand, angels. You talk about angels. You talk about shit you don't understand so much. I'm so sick of that. Ugh. I'm just... It's me with that bullshit. So, uh, I did not even... I had no idea this was going off like that. But uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new me. The old me, really. It's the old me. I've been fighting all my life. That's right. This was about my whole fight. Fighting to come out two month premature baby. Two, 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 two. I'm stuck on the two. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you one in a minute. Two, 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 two months. Two, two, uh, no, yeah, two months early. Me. February 29th, Leapy. I'm going to come out on a day that's not going to be average. There's nothing average about February 29th. How they even did that shit. I mean, regardless of what it was before they even cut it up, there's something clearly not average about it because they wouldn't have cut it up and like made it like, you know, just somebody that day. And I picked it to, be, to come out on. Like, I want to come out now. And I want to come out through the hole. I want to come out through the stomach because I'm happy. Yeah, because they had to pull me out. I was ready to come out, but I didn't want to come out because the wound was cool. I was happy in the wound, but I wanted to see. And that is always me. Been, those of you who know me, that's me. I, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Be careful what you ask for, little girl. Anyway, only two pounds, but I made it. I made it. I made it. I was so teeny. Daddy could hold me in the palm of his hand. He could hold my whole little body in the palm of his hand. That was weird. It's that small. It's that nice. It's great. 
Mommy taught me well. Daddy taught me well. Two years old. Double pneumonia. How are you going to have double pneumonia? Not even pneumonia. Double pneumonia. I've been almost dying all my life. <laughs> I've had so many all my... I almost died here. I almost died there. I almost died here. That's why I know this one right now. I'm going to roll with this and run and have fun with it. Because I don't think I have any more almost dying moments. I think, you know, the next one's going to be it. So, you know, I'm going to take my heaven and roll with and do what makes me happy. And part of that happiness is a weird thing. I fight my own happiness. I do get I'm used to fighting. I'm used to fighting. He said, you don't even have to. Why, why do you fight me? Why? Why do you fight me? You don't know, God, dude. You know, I mean, he would say that. And I'm like, I would be so annoyed. Like, listen, <laughs> you don't know the conversation. And you don't need to know. But I'm saying these are conversations you, you probably had with someone or with something or yourself. Higher self, lower self, your feminine self. Your masculine self, whatever the whatever the, you know, the 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 two fit. I mean, whatever that whatever that represents is that it's the other you that you are uh, dealing with. Ultimately, everything you do and everything you see, whatever is going on in the universe, whatever is coming through, it's still a part of the other you trying to talk to you, trying to become one with you, and do like. Okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to make this work? Because we're we're in th we're at those times now that we really cannot like lie about like oh these are the critical times these are the like ooh these are the super leafy times these are the like yeah we're going to really have to do this, but don't do anything that's not going to bring you prosperity. You have a choice. You do not have to suffer. You don't have to go through drama. You don't have to go through the same people. You don't have to go through the same thing. You can change. You can change right now. You have the, you have the power. I'm showing you my power. I'm coming back from death once again and showing you my power. And I'm doing something creative, like just creating a movement from my bedroom. And I said, and watch what happens. Watch and see how many people, remember this day, see how many people start doing shit in black and white and from their bedroom. And da, 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 da. You know, or so I go, you know, I, I, was, I was doing that 20 years ago. And she took that for I me, mean, some shit like that. Watch and see how many people do that. But then why weren't they doing it? Why is it only relevant now? Those the ones. Those the ones. That's what I said. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your happy. Pay attention. You're trying to rise. In order to rise, you're rising to people who are better than you. Or as good as you. You want to deal with people who know more than you. Who do more than you. Not the people that... If you are the number one person in your circle... That's some bullshit. I mean, I'm, no, no, no. That's not some bullshit. Because that's how we learn. That's how we learn. That's not bullshit. I'm sorry. That was me just throwing a little shade there. But on the real, real, if you're the number one person in your that you know, then you don't know enough people. You want to hang around people who are equal to you or better right now. Not worse. You don't need followers. You need uh, people who can help you get over this hump. You can do this by yourself. You don't need followers to get over this hump. You don't need followers to get your goal. You don't need followers to find your identity. You don't need followers to be one with the most high source planets. What, whatever this is, your higher self, you, to be one with you. You don't need followers for that. All you need is you. I'm showing you this every day. I'm just being me. This is my story. This is my testimony. This is a, a goddamn thing to do with this, 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 who, 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 or nothing. This is all me. And it's not all me, though. That's the part. It's all me, but it's not all me. But it is all me. You get it. I'm going to pause it on that. I'm going to let y'all think about that. I'm going to start bringing those my card readings back and stuff like that. In March. I think. <laughs> we'll see. But you know, when you come to my channel, you will always get something different. And you will always get something that you can take with you into the future. Because whether you're ready or not, it's already here.